Hey, this is Kelly with Kelly's Magical Realm. Today, I want to talk to you about a sighting of Mother Mary and my dream of Mother Mary. So first, I'm going to talk to you about the sighting of Mother Mary. It was actually about a month ago. It was at my father's camp, and there's an actual picture of it. It's the very last picture on here. Um, My father has a statue of Mother Mary. It's always been there for years. My grandmother put it there. It used to be her house. And in the picture, as you could see, there's this glowing from her. And it looks like we thought it was either a heart or even, I don't know, I looked at it and maybe it's a dove, like a peace sign coming out of her. It's like glowing. And then... I mean, I've always had a connection with Mother Mary, so it's not the first time that something like this has happened to me. I've even had people tell me, hey, Mother Mary's by you or assisting you. Um, And I just had a dream of her last night. I wanted to tell you about that as well. So as far as my dream, it was odd. It was like these people I didn't know, they were... um, Some people were behind me causing trouble, and when they caused the trouble, they all ran and left me there. And so then these people were coming towards me, and Mother Mary just appeared out of nowhere and came in between me and the people, and she was just glowing and white is what I remember. It was, she was just, it was just so beautiful, and it was amazing that I just fell to my knees in my dream. I just fell, and I started praying And it was just such a miraculous sight. Like she stood in between me and the people. And like I said, I got on my knees and I prayed. I asked her to help me stay pure and abstain. I just, and I told her I want to be a vessel of light and to please Mother Mary, show me the way. I will pray to you each and every night. And then I woke up and I felt such calm and ease that I haven't felt and it's funny because I've been feeling a lot of anxiety lately and I swear after that dream there's just something that like hope came from it and I just feel so much better like she helped me you know and another amazing thing I want to tell you is I have rosary beads of Mother Mary um, by my bedstand every night, actually everywhere. I shouldn't say that. They're just by my bedstand. I have them on this little, it's like this little um, end table, and I carry it everywhere with me. So when I'm working during the day, it's by me. It, her rosary beads are always by me. But I wanted to tell you really quick how I got those rosary beads. And I'm actually going to put the video of it below because it's a longer story, but I'm going to shorten it up. But I, and this is years ago, um, I was working at a new job and a girl that I barely knew, she approached me. I was only working there for a few weeks and she was telling me that she was very, very sick a while ago, maybe like six months before um, I met her. She said she was dying and there was no hope from the doctors and she heard about a place called Medjugorje where there's been many sightings of Mother Mary. And she went there and she bought, she, she felt the need to buy three rosary beads. She, you know, she said one was for her, one was for her mother, and one she just felt was for somebody um, that she would meet. And she said, I was the person that the rosary beads were meant for. And she said, someday the rosary beads and my faith are going to come into play, into hand. She goes, there's going to come a time in the future where everyone's faith is going to be tested. And she said, it's very important that you keep your faith and stay strong in it. And I thought that was the most, it was the most beautiful thing that's ever happened to me. And I love every synchronicity or anytime things like that happen to me. I just love miracles like that. And I love when Mother Mary or God or my spirit guides, guardian angels, I love when spirit shows us these amazing signs and help us like that. And it just, it reminds you that there's so many miracles around us and 
to keep our faith because we keep our faith and good things keep happening to us. So I just wanted to share that story with you. Don't forget at the end of this video is the picture of Mother Mary that my father took. And I'm also going to put a link below about my story of how I received the rosary beads of Mother Mary, the rosary beads from Medjugorje. Thanks for listening.